Hi there, Dominic here, and this time I will be talking about the Sketch Extrude tool. With the Sketch Extrude tool, you can extrude polygons by drawing in the viewport. So let's see that in action. I already have experimented a bit. Here you see some geometry, and it all started from a ground plane that had been subdivided. So let's see this in action. I'm going to hide this geometry and going to draw a plane subdivided a couple of times um, so now when I don't select anything everything will be selected so I'm going to select a few polygons going to the polygon tab and choose sketch extrude then click in the viewport and now the selection gets these blue dots Remember, if nothing had been selected, all polygons will get them blue dots. So if you have geometry with a large number of polygons, be careful when choosing Sketch Extrude, because all polygons will receive a blue dot, and maybe that will not be what you want. So right now, the mode is Sweep. This means that when I click and drag one of those dots, it sweeps according to how I move my mouse. I don't do this one. I can make uniform spans by clicking uniform over here. This means that the geometry will be constrained to be uniformly distributed between the original polygon's position and the end of the path. So that's when you set it to uniform. When I, I align it to the path, that means that the geometry will be rotated such that it is aligned to the curve. When it is off, then all new polygons have the same world rotation as the original polygon it started from. See the difference when you click it on and off. Over here you have an option move by path which, which is uh, grayed out when the mode is set to sweep. It becomes available when you set the mode to edit path. In edit path and move by path off, I can move individual knots. But when I check move by path, then all children will move along with it. So then it, there is a parent-child relationship going up. The next mode is delete knot. With delete knot, it's pretty straightforward. I can delete knots. With delete path, then clicking the blue dot will delete the whole path. With uniform spans, mm, uniform spans, clicking handle will distribute the geometry uniformly along the path. Uniform spans. I think it's. Uh, I should have selected this one. No, it's not the same as uniform spans, but anyway, I'm going to undo a couple of times. And straight, when you select straight and you click on the handle, then the whole path becomes straight. Oops, deselected, going to sketch it through again. Precision, this is uh, a special one. With precision, it depends on how far you are zoomed in. What does it mean? The precision determines how often control points should, should be created while the path is interactively sketched. And this is according to screen space pixel count. So let's see that in action. When I'm zoomed in really close, then you see a lot of spans. But when I zoom out, the spans are wider. So here very dense, here less dense. And this is according to how close you are uh, setting this to a lower number will create more spans. Setting this to a higher number will create less spans. 
100 doesn't work, 50 maybe. No, a bit 100, I should zoom out more, I think, because I have to move my mouse further. Yep. And this is according to how far you are zoomed in. So now it's set, precis precision is set to 100. Now I have to drag my mouse fairly wide, but because I'm zoomed in very much, it's still more dense than the previous one when I was zoomed out. And again, zooming out a bit like that. So precision depending on how far you are zoomed in and zoomed out. Scale, you can set a scale. 1.2 is a bit much apparently. 1.01 to a little 1.1 so pretty straightforward, you can scale, you can give the extrusion a spin, for instance 10 degrees. Now where there's more geometry it will become more obvious that the extrusion is spinned. I'm going to set it back to zero. Make UVs when you are uh, UVing. And you also can give it a profile. Let's choose for instance this one and then I have some extra options Pro the profile scale to 20 minus 10 10 I can reverse the inset that will that means that parts that are white will become narrow and vice versa like that and I can reverse the direction doesn't do very much with this setup because maybe with a different profile it becomes more clear so reverse direction anyway that's a short introduction to the sketch extrude uh, hope you find it useful uh, can create great geometry with this one bye for now this was dominic